Are you planning holiday to Cebu but don't know what to do, where to go, and how it all fits into your travel plans? Don't worry because Cebu has the best the Philippines has to offer. From swimming with literal fishes to relaxing by the beach, the island province ensures a trip like no other, and travel companies want you to have a once in a lifetime experience. But which one's the right fit for you? I tried all of the top rated Cebu tours and here's how my experience went. Experiencing the best Cebu has to offer in 16 hours. Want to experience everything the glorious province of the Philippines has to offer but are stretched for time? What if there was a way to get it all done in a little over 16 hours? Don't worry, rest and relaxation times are offered in between. I didn't know what to expect going into this. The reviews were all raving and it looked like the tour had been going on for a while. Their selling point was of course, the fact that the tour guaranteed you'd witness everything Cebu had to offer on the same day. This included a trip to Tumalog Falls, visiting the Sumulan Sandbar and Pescador Island, and a chance to swim with the Philippine whale sharks. Just one click and I was able to reserve my spot in a 4-in-1 tour which included pick and drop services from the hotel or wherever you're staying. Obviously group discounts apply. First things first, whale shark watching and breakfast. The tour included the admission ticket for the experience and I'm happy to report the main attraction was provided within the first 30 minutes of the tour. Next came a visit to Tumalog Falls, located just 5 kilometers from the first site. Be vigilant though as the site is often closed. Then comes a 2 hour stop at the Sumulan Sandbar where tourists can kick back and have a fun in the sun, grab a drink, and have the time of their lives. The largest stretch of this tour comes next, 3 hours at Pescador Island. The tour guide leads as tourists look in awe at the magnificent corals and get the chance to snorkel. You're also provided with lunch. The last 30 minutes are spent swimming in the Mual Bual past the walls of sardine fish. In one day, I got to experience everything that Cebu had to offer. The driver was friendly, the tour guide was experienced. The adrenaline rush was unreal, everything was packed together to give you a truly once in a lifetime experience. I went ahead and tried to find the cheapest place that you can book it online and left a link down for this down below. Bright and early for whale shark swimming and sightseeing. Wake up at 4 in the morning and the car is waiting for you downstairs to take you on an adventure like none other than before. This tour allows tourists to experience natural wonders and the beautiful Subu beaches in just under a day. You'll get picked up from your accommodation or straight from the airport and transported to Oslob for whale shark watching. This is one of Cebu's main attractions. The earlier you go sightseeing, the better. A chance to engulf yourself in the experience. 30 minutes later, you'll travel to Tumaluk Falls. The stay was about 30 minutes as well. The main point of visiting the sites first is to take pictures, live in the moment, and then head over to the beach for a chance to kick back. In this case, you'd get a chance to unwind at Sumulan Island for 2 hours. This still isn't the longest stretch in the tour. The last 3 hours are spent at the main attraction, the Kawasan Falls. Here's a fun tip. Consider upgrading your package for a chance to take a dip in the waters at Oslob and snorkel with the whale sharks. If you don't mind having to travel and walk and keeping to an otherwise tight schedule, this tour is the one for you. They also offer breakfast and lunch in their package, basically taking care of you throughout the whole day. This tour covered everything Cebu had to offer and then some. The reviews all said it and I'd say the same. It was a phenomenal experience and I can't wait to relive it again. So if you're actually thinking about trying this tour and going on this adventure, I'll leave a link to this down below where I found the cheapest place where you can book it. A tour across the Bohol countryside. Spend the day in the countryside and get a chance to reel in all the during the evening cruise. You'll get a chance to experience the natural wonders of Bohol for a full day small group tour. The tour starts at 6 in the morning with the cab waiting for you in the lobby. You're immediately taken to the ferry station where the first leg of the tour starts. On that note actually, the pickup times for different tourists on the tour varies. Say you're staying at the Lapu Lapu hotels a little further off, then you have to wake up a bright early. The tour company takes distance and traffic into account. They want to make sure that you make it to the ferry station at least 30 minutes before boarding. The ride can therefore be bumpy if you're running late. But the easiest solution here is to get up and ready on time and have your things in the lobby before the tour company comes to pick you up. With that out of the way, your first stop in Bohol is the Chocolate Hills. Admission tickets are included and you'll get to experience the natural monument for 30 minutes before you move on to the next stretch, Biller or the Bohol Forest. This is the man-made forest filled to the brim with a mahogany of trees running through the border of Bilar and its neighboring town Lubuk. The best that Bohol has to offer however comes next when the tourists are taken through the Tarshir conservation area. For those of you who might not know, this quick primate is found exclusively in some parts of Asia and in the Philippines. They're considered a protected species though. 
Spend an hour or so there watching the monkeys leap around and interact with people before you move on to the longest stretch of the cruise. That's an hour and a half on the Labuk River cruise, which includes rest, relaxation, and refreshments. To wrap things up, you'll get to visit the stunning Blakoyan Church and the Blood Compact Monument. The goal is to explore nature and the stunning architecture found exclusively in the Philippines, all in one day. Happy to report that it did just that. And again, if you want, are interested in booking this tour, I'll leave it down below in the link in the description where I found it for a reasonable price. Mokton Island Hopping Are all any tourists were hoping for when they book a tour? It was what I was hoping for when I booked this island hopping tour. There are a few packages to choose from and island hopping is included in every one of them. The cheapest only includes island hopping, however. You can always upgrade to island hopping with snorkeling, scuba diving, and parasailing though. Obviously, that'll cost extra. In 8 hours, you'll get to experience 3 islands altogether. That's Hilotangan Island, known for its vibrant marine life and a popular hotspot for snorkeling, Nalusan Island, revered for the array of corals and the colorful fish swimming about, and lastly, Pandanon Island, famous for its white sandy beaches and scenic views. Pack your swimsuits and meet the tour guide downstairs. The travel company will arrange travel to and from the hotel or Airbnb. The stay at each island is approximately two to two and a half hours, which goes up if you've upgraded to include snorkeling and parasailing. On that note, the tour company actually provides snorkeling equipment themselves, but you're free to bring your own if you'd like. The tour also includes two sets of guides, an English speaking and a Korean speaking one, making the tour more inclusive for tourists traveling far and wide. Better still, the tour is family friendly and designed so people of all ages can have the time of their lives. The only drawback here though is that, if at all, is the fact that all the activities are water based. If you're not a big swimmer, then you might want to sit this one out. I thoroughly enjoyed my experience because I'm a big swimmer and really into the water activities. In fact, it felt like a surreal experience and I keep dreaming of going back to relive the situation. Blue Water Simulon Day Tour Travel to Simulon Island and spend a day at the Blue Water Resort. It's a combination of adventure, entertainment, and relaxation that starts with a round trip boat ride from the mainland into the island. Tourists are welcomed on arrival with a refreshment, setting the tone for a day you've had to about to have. Kick things off by lounging by the pool or swimming pool, breathing all in that fresh air. The pool area offers several sunbeds for free. Parents get to have a moment to themselves here too, while their kids are off near the dedicated play area. Just in sight, but in their own world while you enjoy yours. The highlight of the tour, however, would have had to been the buffet lunch. It features a wide variety of dishes and you can only find in the Philippines, engulfing you in their culture. There are also options to pick from in other cuisines, so something's for everyone. Additionally, the island has a beautiful sandbar that is perfect for leisurely walks. The island experience is made all the more enjoyable with add-ons such as snorkeling, something that the travel company offers at a cheap upgrade. They'll provide you with the snorkeling equipment or you're free to bring your own. Snorkeling throughout the waters around Simulon Island is an experience within itself. With the vibrant marine life and colorful corals, call it a snorkel's paradise. To make the most of the day, you can also rent a glass bottom kayak which allows you to explore the underwater world, all without getting soaked. The resort offers other activities too, like hiking and swimming in the crystal clear lagoon. There's something for everyone. Tourists love the Blue Water Simulon Day Pass, calling it an excellent way to actually experience the natural beauty of Simulon Island. From the warm welcome and delicious lunch to the exciting snorkeling and relaxing poolside, it offers a perfect balance of adventure and leisure. What do you plan on crossing off when you're in Cebu? Let us know in the comments and I hope you found this video helpful.